Who child? Give me that phone, honey. Mm, what you got on? Looking like E.T. trying to phone home. And this is my prayer cloth. You hit me kind of hard with that phone. I don't want to break that finger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I got my prayer cloth because we, we got to pray. You need some of this? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes, the pastor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, you got to say pastor. You know your church member out here acting a fool out here on national TV. I know you tried to talk to him, Pastor, but let me tell you something. That didn't work. Now, I don't know if he's still a member of that church, but y'all need to get the elders. I already got my prayer cloth, my, my blanket on me to try to pray. But see, y'all need to get them elders down to that church, get that oil. Throw, throw him on the altar because he needs prayer. Uh, guy here acting a fool. Just acting a fool. Where the elders and the mothers of the church? Get that man from off this national TV. I'm tired. I'm tired. Are you done, E.T.? Mm-mm. I'm going to go pray. I'll talk to y'all later. My spaceship comes. Bye. E.T. Oh, hell. No. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Courtney with the braids. And this is my husband. Hey, Doug. It is his name, yeah. For those that don't know, his name is Eddie, yes. So let me tell you what this channel is all about. If you're new to this channel, just don't never just flow with me. Just flow with me. Sometimes just man, be on sequence. Like, just flow with me for Wednesday, once. man. It's hump day. I'm just trying to make it through the day. But they almost over with. But anyway, um, so if this is your first time joining, let me tell you what this channel is all about. This channel is about Courtney and Eddie. We do relationship topics, <laughs> reviews, and right now we're doing Married at First Sight, which is on the Lifetime. So if you hadn't already and you're just watching us for free, go not hit that subscribe button. Yeah, you won't be charged. You know, I'm going to weigh the fees this side. And if you're watching us via Facebook, make sure you go ahead and do what? Hit like and follow. And on all social media sites, do what, baby? Why'd you get this wrong? Uh, do what, baby? Comment and like. Just comment. Just comment. That's all. <laughs> just, just all you got to do is just tell hey, comment. Like, why, why the king like? I, I, I told him, like, if you're watching on face, Facebook, like and follow. Okay. You know, okay. So you telling them, like this video, too? Y'all play today. I'm about to get to the review. We get into the review. <laughs> we get to the review. All right, you guys. So now let's talk about this. Like this was it kind of shifted my whole mood. I'm gonna be honest. It just really did. It did something to me. What did it do with you? Nothing really. You know. You know why they say the most dramatic for the last. Oh yeah. Because everybody else was like, eh, eh. Then they had to say the drama queens for last. So, but other than that, man, it's like to me personally, this this was kind of like a lackluster mm -hmm. episode. So, so let's get into it. Um, so it's called Face to Face, and it starts out when we know that um Vincent made his grand exit on the last episode. So they're in the bed and they're talking about that. So he admitted that all he got was to the parking deck. So he didn't go nowhere far. I guess he took him and his little Charlie Brown book bag and came right on back in now. So, um, but they did talk about it and she said that nothing that she was trying to do was being disrespectful and he felt it was. And then in his confessional, he was like, you know, um, um, I, she said, well, just let me know when I'm dis disrespecting you or saying something that's offensive or whatever. And in his confession, he was like, you know, I shouldn't have to tell you nothing that you're telling me that I'm, that you're being disrespectful every day. You should know that. Like, I shouldn't have to tell you that. I still, Vincent scared me, honey. He made me itch. Well, uh, it's unfair for Vincent to think that because Bree can't read his mind. Right. So it's all about communicating. So if something makes him feel uncomfortable, you make you itch too, don't you? You've been scratching that a long time. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> if something makes you feel uncomfortable, Vince is gonna have to voice that. You know, she she can't read 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 his mind, and uh, that's unfair to Bree. You know, but this is the process. This is the yeah. process to get to know one another. They still are trying to learn one another. So yeah, it's it seems like take it's only minute. been about a week. So yeah, but still, you know. You know, some people date five years and engage for another two years and then get married after that. So, you know, my sister. <laughs> so, what was your point? 
I'm just saying, you say it's been a week. Yeah, it's been a week. I'm saying it's going to take some time yeah, okay, for them to get okay, to know okay, each other. Okay, okay, I so, thought yeah. you were trying to say, well, they should know each other by a week. Oh, no, it takes a while. Okay. So, um, let's go on to Eric and Ryan. Question, question, question. Why you do that when you go to the next couple? Why is that? They can't see my hand. Yeah, they can, they can see your shoulder move. All right. Y'all play too dang or what? I'm going to give y'all a dislike. You're going to do that all the time. Oh, it's getting old. Yeah, it kind of is. You kind of win it out a little bit. Hey, go ahead and type. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Eric and Ryan are meeting up, and they are they both they all you know got the dogs and stuff. So they walking out. Of course, that was playing by production. You hey, think so? Oh yeah, ain't no. Uh, hey. I don't think hey. it. it no. was coincidence. Uh, no, nah, I, I really sarcasm think inserted. You had to tell them that. Oh, yeah, some people don't get it. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. It was all planned. I said, I know, man. I'm just saying, you know, I'm being sarcastic when I say that. I'm just joking. So, they were, um, one thing that he, you know, they asked how was it going with each other and stuff. And so, you know, Ryan, to me, is not going to give too much information if it's good or bad. He's not going to talk about it. I'm telling you, Ryan, he needs to work with the Secret Service, man. He can keep a secret. I boy. mean, he's he very closed in and conservative. I'm you, man. And Claire is all free. And, and I oh, can see. Yeah, that part, yeah. No, no, I'm just saying oh. she her, her personality, she's all free and, you know, open and stuff. And he is just kind of like real reserved. But um, Eric did express to... Um, Ryan about you know Virginia like he said you know he's a little bit concerned because like you know when she's at you know she's working and stuff I guess at home working he tried to hug and she's just kind of like you know she gets annoyed with that <sighs> yeah mm, 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 mm. I don't know about her she kind of make me nervous with that so yeah she don't want to give him a hug and stuff you know how some people when they maybe because she just focused on something you like no i don't buy that uh, some people still used to have their own space and they're not used to all that you know you know their personal space being invaded like that and she mm, she could be one of them type of people yeah all right let's move on to this um part where chris is sitting down talking to his pastor which is his friend and his friend one thing Chris thought that they were going to co-sign on his, man, they did not. So, um, I wanted to know, too, why uh, they looked like they was laughing. I wrote that down. You know what I'm saying? Maybe everybody just had this silly jitteriness or silly laughter, nervous laughter when they come around Chris. I don't know. It well, just seemed like people laugh. You talking about the pastor? Yeah, and his friend. They like I, they were smiling. I, I'm there. assuming they thought Chris was going to tell them some good news and, you know, you know, you joke around, yeah, man, me and my wife, we doing this and doing that. And they thought they was going to hear something. Because he said they had a twin. Right. And that's why I thought, they, you know, they thought, okay, they had a good time being married. So they were probably smiling and laughing because they happy for Chris. But little did they know. So Chris um, ended up, you know, telling them, you know, that when he saw Paige walk down the aisle, he was not attracted to her. And that, you know, now he found out that his ex fiance is pregnant and um he's gonna go back to that and the pastor said one thing i told you make sure because they rewind the tape in the beginning when he was talking to him make sure you ain't got no baggage you coming over into this leave all that back. stuff behind it's gonna come back to bite you yeah it, which it did and he said and i told you that he said one thing about it is that you committed to your wife you made that vow with god because i forgot he the one married you. You made that vow with God and you committed to your wife. So and he was like, but I want to raise my child. You can raise your child. That has nothing to do with that. You know, you can be a great father to your child. But one thing about it, you don't have to get back with your ex because she's pregnant. You know, you made a commitment to Paige. And he was like, one thing about it, Paige is a diamond. Like, dude, do you know what you got? Like, you know, she has good, you know, a good head on her shoulders. Seems like she has a good career. And... He right. Like, from what we can see, she loyal even when she shouldn't be. What you want to say, babe? Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to speak. <laughs> I'm just joking. But no, I think the reason why they saying she's a diamond is because Chris is still looking on the outside. She's not looking what 
page has to offer. Mm -hmm. And the pastor is, I guess, a pastor associate or uh -uh, assistant. His friend. His friend, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess they, you know, they, they more mature, you right. know, they married. So they, they saying, you know, man, you, she got all these other qualities you're not look, seeing. you overlooking that because you look on the outside, mm -hmm. you know. But to go back to the first episode or the second episode when she walked down the aisle when he said, mm -hmm. what he said, you mm -hmm. know. And after you see how he treated her mm -hmm. in the past episodes, then you go back to that episode when she, when she first walked down. It kind of hits different now. Because he knew right then when he first saw her that he had nothing for her. Mm -hmm. All this trying, oh, well, trying to have sex so I can try to connect with her. And, you know, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's so flimsy. And I think the pastor knew it was flimsy, you know. Yeah. So, but now, that pastor, you know, I had, you know, some, reserva some reservations about the pastor. But the nuggets he dropped yeah, tonight, he did. He did. you know, he really hit home on some things I said about Chris, about Chris being immature, selfish, and uh, the pastor hit it. And uh, Chris, he wasn't there for it. He didn't want to hear it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, one thing about it is that, you know, um, the pastor told him, listen, your wife Trump all of that. Like, you know, anything you got going on with eggs, that white Trump that. And then when they was talking to his friend and the pastor, you know, like in their little confessional, you know, with just the camera, he was like, you know, Chris is, he's acting selfish. He's acting immature. And this is an embarrassment to his family. Like, you embarrassing your family, bro. So, uh, yeah. What you not, not, not just his family. Uh, embarrassing pastor, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, the I, guy, he the one married. Yeah, you know, I, I married you, man. You going back to make me look bad, you yeah. know? So, uh, so yeah, uh, but w once once again, when you got a, a, a boy or a man that's immature in the head and he signed up for something like this show and he goes through with it and married this woman and don't fall through with it. I'm just saying, at least give it to the six, six weeks. weeks. Right. Then you cut it loose, you mm -hmm. know. But you want to tuck tail and run now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and after you dog this woman out, and, she, you know, some, some of that blame goes on page because right. she allows that to happen to her. So, uh, but, yeah, man. Uh, you know, um, at that point, because they didn't give Chris what he wanted, I was wondering why he was looking at his yeah. phone. Yeah, once again, I'm sorry. Cut you off. I'm sorry, baby. When he started looking at his phone, that showed you his immaturity. Mm -hmm. It's like a little kid when he started to pout. Mm -hmm. He was pouting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so he was just like, I'm done. I'm done. Like, y'all can leave pretty much. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. So he didn't want to hear nothing else. And so that's when, you know, I think at that point, his pastor probably just couldn't believe it. Now, I don't know how long he been friends, but one thing about me, one thing about it, I want my friends to always tell me the truth. If I'm being ugly, may not always want to hear, but when you got somebody to tell you the truth, now that other friend just sitting there looked like he was scared to tell him the truth. But the pastor wasn't cutting no corners with him. So I don't know how long they've been friends or whatever, but, you know, he did tell him the truth. Whether he adhered to it or not, that's on him. But, yeah, he getting that off of him. Okay, you guys, so now let's move on to Haley meeting up with her friends. In this part of it, you know, I did like that some of the couples got a chance to meet with their friends so their friends can tell them the truth about them. So Haley was selling her friend, and you know, I ain't too much like this friend at first because she was just like, I can't believe you didn't marry. That's why you didn't like her? Because she seemed like she was hating a little bit, like she was so negative. But I guess she know her friend, honey. Yeah, she, I guess she yeah. just like, Ugh. Some people know their friends, man, so yeah. And so um, she said that Haley just pretty much told her friend, you know, well, everything was all good in the beginning. Like you said, baby, she was excited to get married. And after all that woe off, it was just like, mm, okay, now I'm really here. Now what we gonna do? And she said, you know, um, she didn't like, you know him because he into the 80s stuff and how he dressed and stuff. And her friend was like, and what else you got? What did you want to say? There's nothing wrong with the 80s, man. I still listen to... It's not uh, about you. Rock Me on My Dads. I still listen to Billy Joel. I still listen to Bon Jovi. Hey, there's nothing wrong with the 80s, man. It was the best decade that, that there was, man. 90s music. Anyway, so, I'll, I'll, I'm going to finish with my um, thoughts on that. Uh, but 
I think Haley is trying to latch on to something so she can have an excuse, an excuse. Yep. to bail out. I you know so what I'm saying? Because right now it's like, you know, especially after that first argument and he accused her of all his own that. Now she tried to. Oh, well, mm -hmm. you know, she is trying to find some type of excuse, man. Because her friend said that she wanted to bail out quick. So she was like, you know, you made a commitment. Like, you, this is a marriage. It's not just y'all boyfriend and girlfriend. You can't just dip out, I you really know. I really think a lot of them, most of them think that, though. They yeah, they do. And so she pretty much asked her, what are you going to do to move forward? And so, you know, she was just like, you know, well, you know, just work through it. We both made a commitment. We both talked about that we do want to get past this, and you know, we w both want to make it work. So, you know, I thought her friend gave us some good advice. Oh yeah, she she dropped some nuggets too. She did. So let's move on to Eric and his friend. So um, they are outside talking, and you know, um, talked about you know how to wed. No, talked about Virginia being at a wedding. <sighs> this is B B N N news. Uh, so, Miss Coco, do you think Virginia was at a wedding? Nope. That's it for being. <laughs> <laughs> I think Virginia went on a binge and drinking spree. That's what she yeah. did and turned up somewhere with yeah, her friends. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. when they talked about her husband, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do this and how yeah, nervous yeah, I am that he got to meet my friends. Yeah, yeah, it'll pop up a pop up on social media somewhere. Pictures. Or if she went to a wedding, you know, she... Probably didn't have to go four days. Where was it? But she probably didn't have to go. But she probably turned up, you know, oh, when she was yeah. there. Yeah, you know, you know, wedding too, man. You just got married. Well, I'm looking like I've been married a week and I finna go to somebody else's wedding. Man, she went there. What free drinks? Four days. Free drinks. All right. First plane ticket on mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so he's talking to his friend about Virginia going to the wedding and stuff, and that um, you know. He's trying not to be controlling because, you know, he sees that, you know, Virginia got Ciroc. I'm sorry, y'all. I forgot. That Ciroc, you know, got some issues with drinking and this party life and the stuff like that. So he's trying not to, you know, be controlling. And he also said that, you know, he want to see if she miss him, you know, while she gone. You know, she going to come back and be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So his friend did say, you know, um. One thing about it, don't, 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 you can't control her. Don't control her. You know, um, you know, pull back off of that, you know, relax. But it looked like Eric getting all stressed out. He's just like, oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, if this don't change, I just don't know it's going to work. I can see what Eric, I can see where he's coming from, but he do have some controlling patterns. Yeah. And did she say, did he say that they was calling each other like once an hour? While she was out of oh, town. we ain't got to that part okay. yet, but, but yeah, I, I but that's, know. You know, that's part of the controlling thing, you yeah. know. And that's that's just too much, man. Way to me, that's much. a that's that's a trust trust issue right there. He don't trust her at all. I don't care what he says, man. Mm. So let's move on to Vincent. Got to talking with his friend, and once again, these friends come with some good truth. You know, just tell your friend like it is. So Vincent uh, began to say, you know, he asked his friend, asked another. I oh, to I'm go. sorry. Let's I'm gonna hit the pause button. I'm gonna hit the self. But let's go back to uh, I'm glad you brought that. Let's go back to Chris and the pastor. Now, when Sirach said and told Chris, "You sure that's your baby?" He jumped all down. Sirach my uh, throat jumped all up in her face. Yeah. But the pastor said the same thing. Yep. Not a peep. Yep. Not a word. Not even a look. Mm -hmm. He just sat there and listened. If that's your baby, that's what he, he said. He said, if that's your baby. Yep. Same exact thing Sirac right. said. Yep. So I just want to you know, point that out. Man. Right. Thank you, baby, for going back. But you know they're going to be in the comments. What they going to say? Y'all be jumping around. Y'all around. jumping around. Y'all went all the way to Haley and back to Chris. That was what somebody and, told And, and y'all need to find a good pattern to go by. And... I'm getting tired of pouring on my. <laughs> no, so yeah, um, so yeah. Sorry, we had to yeah, jump around. That was to me. That was very important. It know, was because you know, um, I think I think I may have. Well, what well, I'm trying to say, Chris, know who to attack, who who and who not to attack. Exactly. So Vincent and his friend were talking, and um, 
he was telling him about, you know, asking him, you know, his friend asked him, well, how's it going and stuff. And he was like, you know, um, it's pretty good. But one thing about, you know, Breon, she's very direct. <laughs> and he said, and you know, I'm one to watch my words. He said, I'm one to be delicate with my words. And I don't that's know how. True. That's true. I don't, but I don't know how that's going to play out. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to tiptoe around my words around people. I want to just be myself. And Vincent has to to learn that because yeah. it seems like he's still walking on eggshells. Yeah. Cause he's trying to be delicate because that's the way he wants to be treated. And you know, you people are different. You know, she's not going to treat you the way you treat her. Right. You know, you have two different backgrounds and everything. And, and Vincent has to understand that. So. um and his friend was laughing, you know, when, this, when he told him the story and stuff yeah, like that. He called him Vinny. <laughs> he did. He, <laughs> he said called, Champagne Vinny. Yeah. So y'all tell us what they mean. Is that a song or a movie or uh, something? It seemed like I heard it before, I, but I don't know. I thought it was a movie or something, man. Um. So anyway, so he did call him that. And Champagne Vinny. He said that um, one thing about it, just like you said, you cannot expect her to respond and react like you would. No. Like you, you, she got to be herself. So you know, I don't know if he took that for face value. I think he did. I think he did. I think he did. Cause Vince, he probably understand that. Hey, we're still trying to learn one another. So it, this is part of the growing process. So yeah. I think he got it. So let's, I hope he did. Let's move on to the girls and the guys hanging out. Now this is this part is just going to be brief. So you know each guys, you know of course Virginia was still um, in wherever she was in Ciroc. Sorokaville. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she was somewhere over there, but yeah. she didn't meet up. But it was the three ladies. Was it three? Yeah, three. Three. Yeah. And um, Paige was in there. And the four men. So the question was, uh, they were talking about drinking and stuff. So um, Jacob and Eric said, well, you know, our wives, you know, they don't ain't yeah. shy to the drinking. Yeah, I got to keep an eye. We got to keep an eye oh, on Haley. Haley. Yeah, she I, probably low-key drinking. Was saying, man, I didn't know Haley was drunk, drunk that much, man. Yeah. yeah. So she when he said lot. that it, you know, when she was drinking, when she was coming down the aisle, remember? Yeah, little, yeah, she did. So, <clears throat> give me a little drink. I feel it. So, but I just took out, okay, nerves, and right. she didn't want a little, you know, something to drink, take the nerves off, but I don't know, man, they be drinking in the middle of the day all the time. So, Clara said that, you know, they got into a little argument or a little, you know, debate or mis dis misunderstanding, because when it was like that, her friends came over, the yeah. friends came over some, and they were going to take jello shots, and he was like, mm-mm, we know not with all that, so, you know, he's very, I guess, reserved or conservative around her friends. Very much so. So... Yeah. Um, one thing about the girl said that, you know, it's for all of them, I guess it is, you know, hard to be in that space. You know, they're used to being by themselves. And so now they got somebody with them, you know, like um, um, Vincent said, you know, he wanted to come home and just uh, be by himself, as you call it, what? Decompress. And decompress, man. And now you got a wife there. You got somebody there in your face. Yeah, especially had after you having a hard day, you had a hard day at work, you come home, you all beat down, tired. Then the last thing you need is somebody coming to your face, why you do this? Why you do that? You don't want to hear that. You want to come home, kind of soak things in, decompress, and say some wooza, you know? But, hey, I can kind of feel Vincent on that one right there a little bit. You don't do that to me. No, no, I don't. Yeah, you don't do but face. I, 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 I feel it. So anyway, Ryan was saying that, you know, one thing about Claire is that Claire is very trustworthy. Ryan is not. So Claire is very well, optimistic, you know, hey, and I used to say that, hey, Claire is like, I'm going to trust you until you give me a reason not to. Not me. Ryan slash Ryan, Eddie. What I say? That I don't trust nobody. You got to earn my trust. Yeah, that's what you say. I, I don't trust anyone. You got to earn my trust. She trusted everybody until they do Not something. Everybody. Hey, dude, I said, don't you? Yeah, I don't know. The FBI. Did something happen? I said, I told you. I told you. And get mad at me. Why get mad at you? 
I don't want to hear you told me you told me so. I said, I tried to. Hey, I don't want to hear it. I'm saying, hey. I do not. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah, you do. Never because you love to be picking and stuff. I told you. I told you. You didn't listen to me. You don't listen to me. You love that. You, you listen, listen to me. me. I'm telling you, don't trust everybody, man. No, I don't. Shoot. So, anyway, um, Clara was also talking about that she was getting frustrated because one thing about it, that they is going slow with their fiction. And, you How know. slow? She said real slow. Real snail pace. And, you know, Claire is one of them, hey, I fall in love, quit. I had sex with you, quit. Let's move on. And he not like that, period. He ain't never said the love word, and I guess he do not get down like that real quick. Nah, uh, Ryan is going to be a hard cookie to crack. Yeah, man. he is. He is, man. He's just setting his ways, and, and you got to look at his parents, you know, the household he came from. Very conservative, you know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have been on this show then. Yeah, well, I agree. He shouldn't be, but but he is. But, yeah, that's going to be kind of rough right there for Claire. So, one thing, Virginia Sorok, come on back home and from that binge, and she was doing. So, she comes back home, and Eric meets her, and he wanted to know, did she miss him? Did she have said she missed him? Uh, she just, I don't know. She just be having these, like, don't bother me faces. Like, yeah, she do. She's just like, oh, I just... Uh. Give me time to decompress. You all in my face. Yeah. You all in my personal space. Yeah, so she's just happy to see the dog. Did the dog like you? Did he, how was he? Yeah, I like she was more happy to see the dog than yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's when they were talking about, you know, did you miss me? You know, I tried to give you, I, I don't know if he said this, but I'm thinking, you know, he pretty much tried to give her space and not call her that much and, you know, or whatever. Once an hour? Did he say that? I I, yeah, I think he said, you know, he, how was it, you know, how you how, 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 like how we did it, you know, call like once or twice, you know, I think like once every hour or two hours, something like that. But that's still a lot, man, you know. Mm. Well, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, put in the comments. And I'll never. <laughs> so, um, she said that she was a little bit nervous about, um, her having to check in all the time so she she was nervous but he was like i think we did good so i think that's I what think, he said yeah he think they did good but i don't think she i don't think she 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 felt that too too much and i don't think she was feeling that but she was a little nervous about him meeting Me her guy, guy friends friend. because you know how he is and stuff so anyway let's move on to chris and Paige. um he called, well, actually Chris was on the phone and he called Paige and said, hey, you know, I want you to meet my ex, you know, um, is that going to be working for you, dude? And so she pretty much like, meet her, like, you know, what you want to meet the ex-fiance for? Like, why we want to sit and meet? I want to know that too. What, what we're going to talk about? So um, he's like, I just want things, you know, just to clear the air and everything. And so Paige said, well, let me pray about it. Let me think about it. I'll let you know. I'm trying to figure out. Why she didn't have him on block? Why she didn't block his phone number? You know, that's what I'm saying. You know, after somebody did you like that, that number should have been blocked. Mm -hmm. So she said she wanted to protect her peace, honey. That's how you protect your peace. But block the number. She should have protected on, um, before she went to Vegas. Yeah, block the All right, number. Right, the next one is pretty much the um, friends are coming over to meet, you know, the different couples and stuff. And, you know, this is just going to be a quick part because it wasn't much to talk about. But um, Virgi Virginia and Eric get a chance to um, bring their friends over. Of course, she... I was, she was the only female because he brought his guy friends and you know I guess he let you know I got guy friends I ain't got girlfriends right. and then um, you know she brought her guy friends so he can meet them and you know it seemed like everybody got along you know one thing about it they said that you know Haley is a not Haley um, Sorak is a extreme extrovert and you know Eric you know it may be working for him to help get them out their shell get him out his shell and so um that was pretty much it. You know, his friend called him out there. Her friend called him out there on the um, patio and said, hey, just make sure that you're not too controlling. And you was like, you know, she must have told him. Yeah. Haley. Oh, not Haley, but Ciroc. Must have told her guy friend. And, uh, Eric, he's so controlling. He don't trust me around y'all. Y'all. I mean, he probably said, you know what? We'll talk to him. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk to him. So I, that's why I think, you know, you know, but. And it seemed like, you know, of course, you know, Eric said, well, that's what I need. He was like, no, nah, she a good girl. You know, she, you know, she looked like she was, she, you no, know, we know that she was ready for marriage. She was ready to do it. And he said, that's all I need. I appreciate you, man. You know, you good. You know, you know, we good. So, you man, know. Man, I don't buy that at all, man. 
A dude can tell you all that and still be hitting your girl. And he, and she, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. And she said that you know, uh, no, because if they wanted to talk to me, they would have wanted to. Talk, they would have. They would have been to talk to me by now if they wanted to be with me. So you know, yeah, and they ain't no uh, bad looking guy friend. So I'm yeah. saying to myself, why y'all ain't have any of y'all yeah, trying to talk to him? I don't buy that at all, man. He, they probably was telling Eric what he wants to hear, so he could be comfortable. To continue to allow Virginia to go around now, and they continue to do what they do. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's move on to um, um, Haley and Jacob. Just talking to their friends. One much to talk about. Ha oh, ha ha. Chuckle chuckle chuckle. Yeah. chuckle. Let's oh, move on thing to. Why well, he was watched like this? Yeah, that's I true. I thought okay, maybe I should have thought thought about that back in the day when I was out there day. Then you ain't never seen nobody where they watch like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, Claire and Ryan, um, housewoman, come over. Her friends couldn't make it, so Brianna and Haley came. But Brianna dipped out. She said, I got to go be my husband. So, she did not stay long. <laughs> did you uh, notice that? I noticed it, and I know why. Why? <laughs> I ain't going to say. Hey, it was kind of light up in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, what you forget? Brian is black. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, anyway, um... They were talking, and, you know, one thing Ryan said that, you know, it's a difference between lifestyle. So they got a lifestyle difference with them. And um, he let, it, you know, the friend know that. Clara said that, you know, she never seen Ryan with his shirt off and that, you know, on on her confessional, she's pretty much sexually frustrated. So, well, you know. Well, Ryan took it. I, I, I think I know why. Why? Ryan must got third nipples. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to show. He up. no. He exercises all. It the don't time matter, on. but he still. She still haven't seen his chest. But but you know what? This this is what That's you know. Weird to me, what's, what's frustrating is that you would come on a national television show and be so doggone conservative because your parents are pastors or because you're the pastor child, whatever the case may be, and you will not be intimate with your wife. Like, she your wife. It ain't, you know, y'all, hey, biblically, you can do that. The way you went about it, hey, that's your choice or whatever. But, you know, just like, come on, you know. So, especially because, see, versus Chris, Clara wants to know that he's attracted to her. You know, she wants to be intimate for the fact of, I don't think she just want to just, hey, she wants to know that her her husband is attracted to her. He wants to be intimate with her, you know, versus Chris. Well, I got to be intimate with you to see if I'm going to be attracted to you. Nope, that didn't work. Let me try five more times. That didn't work either. No, he don't sound like that, but no, yeah. That's, that's that. how stupid he sound. Uh-huh. That's somebody sounds stupid. Uh... No, uh, yeah. <laughs> what you finna say? Ryan got third nipple. That's why he didn't want to take his shirt off for him, that girl. <laughs> <laughs> he that right? He take his clothes off in the shower. Yeah, and yeah. Down. Can't let see. I can't yeah. let see my third nipple for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to Brianna and Vince. Um, they got a chance to um, play games, and it seemed like they nice little happy family get along. Yeah, you know, I, she was a little nervous about meeting his mom. Yeah, I didn't know uh, Vincent's mom didn't. She didn't know how to speak English, so uh, yeah. But I, she seemed like a sweet lady. Yeah, yeah she really does. Uh, Brie mom seemed like she's a cool lady too. You know, what I'm saying it seemed like to me, I kind of sensed the love in that room yeah. right there. You know, what I'm saying I think that'll be a good. They, 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 they'll be a good family. And what you team. told, what you said, Vince, don't what? Vince, man, don't, don't mess, mess that it up, up, man. Don't mess it up, yeah. man. I think not with just not just your family, Bree family, all of y'all together. Y'all seem like y'all a good family, man. And uh, you got to kind of control your temper, dog. You got to control that temper, man. So let's move on to this um, train wreck, honey. So we can end this video. <clears throat> what kind of wreck is it? Train. Choo choo. Here we go. <laughs> so Paige is um, meeting up with Chris and his ex fiance, and she said that um, she's giving um, one thing about it that she is taking her power back. Like she's giving Chris too much power, oh, so she's trying to meet up so she can go and get man. down with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here with that, man. Get and, out of here. Um, so now they're meeting up, which for once, for one thing, y'all, I don't know why this was done. Like, 
What was the point in it? Chris looking in the air. He was not even engaged in the conversation. He was up there getting mad. So what was the point? Who the told point, him to do this? The, I guess this was production. It probably was production, but the point was to show, so Chris can show off his ex fiance. See, Paige, this is how you're supposed to look. And, you know, and that's what he liked. Yeah, that's what I only just see. Paige, this is what I like. This is how you're supposed to look. This is how my wife's supposed to look. To me, that's how I took it. You know what I'm saying? Because it was no need for her to be there. Yeah, no. So. Um, so they were talking and stuff. So Paige said that she's not really sure if Mercedes is pregnant because then nobody say nothing about a pregnancy test. Once again, people question it, you know. Um, and Mercedes was saying that she has no ill will toward, you know, uh, yeah, why was she? Yeah, she ain't got no, they ain't got no ill will toward each other. And I was just saying, why was Chris looking up in the air like, once again, you talking about a sport, Brad? Okay, he's still immature. Uh, instead of instead of trying of instead of him trying to get you know engaged with the women in the conversation, he wants to throw a tantrum, look in the air, play on his phone, and it's be mean. Okay, yeah. uh, what was the purpose, dude? You know, I just don't get it. Why you gonna have two women sit down and you are the subject of the conversation. Mm -hmm. So you should have been involved mm -hmm. in that conversation. Mm -hmm. and still he should have been facilitating. Right, you know, and but for some reason, one thing Paige said that was correct is that when Chris feels uncomfortable, mm -hmm. he wants to bail, mm -hmm. point fingers, fingers, <laughs> point fingers, and make excuses. Yep. And that's what he does, and that's what he did. So, um, Paige was saying that, you know, you know how Paige, how soft she talk and stuff and how soft and slow she talk, but she was saying that she didn't, she, she, you know, this whole process, she feel like it was a waste of her time. You know, you got a man that whispered in my ear saying, you know, he's falling in love with me That's or he's after, after you tore me down. Yeah. He, he, he has a fear that he would fall in love with me. And she said, my, I myself thought that, you know, I could be pregnant too. And so at that point, Mercedes was like, by who? Really? How? She said, by who? Yeah, I know what she said, by who? Yeah. Because uh, Mercedes didn't think Paige and Chris did. I don't that. know what he told them. Yeah, he, I don't think, you know, Mercedes knew they was, in, they was intimate. Right. And, and I guess when she found out, she was just she, in shock. She looked at, like, she was like, by who? Like, you know, Chris? And yeah, then how he, she killed brother on the head. Yeah. Like, and she was like, she was like, and yeah, she, how she was on like the little, you know, and she looked at Chris and he was looking up in the air, looking wherever he was looking, wherever his brain was at that time, honey. I, I guess he was looking for I it. could tell you one thing. Chris don't do Mercedes like he does Paige. Because to me, it's like Paige, I mean, it's, to me, it's like Mercedes runs that, runs their, uh, their relationship. Because mm. the way she looked at him. She, to me, to me, she felt like I felt like she was the alpha in that relationship. Well, one thing she know Chris. Yeah, Paige, she know, yeah. Paige, Paige was trying to feel him out yeah, or whatever, but she know Chris. She know his shenanigans. She know when he lies. She know, you know. And at that point, you know, Mercedes said um, that's true on the confessional that you know Chris was trying to pursue her. Like, you know, she was like pregnant. You know, like they've been having sex. Uh, or he been trying to pursue me. I was like, did she say he been trying to pursue her? So, Paige did say, well, you know, I know that, you know, Chris let me know that you guys are trying to work on your relationship and, you know, y'all are trying to work things out and get back together. Chris, she said, who? Oh, yeah, say she who? said, oh, oh no, we're, oh. Let, me, let me make this clear. We're not getting back together. Like, no, we're, we're not. I think at that point when she said, she was having sex with Chris or get she could have been pregnant. Mercedes oh, made that decision. Okay, okay, yeah. Mercedes yeah. made that decision. Oh. To dog Chris out mm -hmm. on national TV. Oh no, we're not getting back together after that. Yeah. Oh we're not trying to work things out. She said let you know we're not trying to work things out. So at that point, you know, one point where Mercedes, I mean Paige was talking to Mercedes and Chris said, What? I'm over here. Like talk uh, no, to if you're gonna talk about me, I'm here, you talk to me. And he's like, I'm saying, why is he demanding Paige like that? Yeah. You know, it's like, he, he talks down to Paige. Yeah. Which is, which is no surprise. Uh, and she said, but I'm she, not I talking get, to you. I, but I give Paige credit this time. 
she continue on talking to Mercedes. Mm-hmm. You know, she disregarded mm-hmm. uh, Chris there. So I give her credit on that one. Yeah. I give her credit. And she changed. She said he, because <laughs> mm-hmm. he is da 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 da. Right. So she started talking. You know, okay, well, I'm, I'm talking about you, but I'm talking. To mm-hmm. her, and so um, Chris, you know, get irritated, and he was like, you know, oh, I'm glad it's Sunday. All I know, I'm just ready to eat. I want to go and watch the that, game. That passive aggressive type yeah. stuff again. And um, he said that you know, um, Paige was being rude. He and he get irritated. I said, but you ain't say Mercedes being rude, but you want to say Paige being once rude. again. Like I said. He's not going to do Mercedes like he do Paige. And, you know, all these little Mercedes was doing this little giggling and stuff. I guess she was nervous. And I think she was nervous and she wanted to clap back real bad. But that's her way of kind of like, you know, yeah. you know, just kind of releasing herself. Because I know she wanted to just get nasty mm-hmm. with Chris. And, you know, because apparently she didn't know all this was going on until now. Because mm-hmm. she said herself. I didn't know he was uh, married to I told him I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. So, yep. And then um, she said that you know, well, okay, Chris. You but know. my question is, is why Mercedes was so upset with Chris about marrying Paige when they supposed to be broken up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yep. So I don't know. I I don't know. You know, but they had been together. I guess six weeks later, six weeks before that. If she pregnant, y'all. If she pregnant, we don't know if she pregnant, honey. So uh, anyway, so yeah, you know, uh, Mercedes was like, you know, Chris always irritated because she was like, you know, he always irritated. So you know, she know his shenanigans and no, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So she know how he act, operated in in everything. So I pray that Mercedes. Um, looked at this and said, you know what? I was real stupid. If you with him now, I hope you watching this, that video, that, that show tonight because um, you don't need to. Chris needs therapy. He don't need nobody. He needs a good therapist. Well, all I know is, uh, I hate to say it, throughout the whole two, well, I'd say the hour and 45 minutes, it was like, the show was like, uh, nah. blah, 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 blah. But well, I hate to admit it, when Chris and Paige and then got on screen, that when things got juicy. <laughs> and that's the problem with this show because there's so much toxic stuff going on with one couple. They are the one people turning in to see. So. All right, you guys. So on that note, y'all drop down in the comments. I know you are. Just tell us what y'all think. And um, once again, you know, I'm going to always do this. Please make sure you go to our website, coedware.com, to purchase our merch. And don't forget, we have a membership. You can join the membership so that you can get your own special emoji. All right? You guys, on that note, that's all I got. What about you, baby? This video already long enough. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got that. All right? So on that note, you guys, we will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. Deuces.